Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. Ron Nicoletti here. Wow, what a great Saturday afternoon. We got 12 races to look at, and we got double stakes action with the Hutchison and the Silks Run. Lots to get to. Let's check out the track, the weather conditions, and turn it over to the master, Pete Aiello, with the call of all 12 races. The weather is beautiful. Sunny skies, temperatures in the mid-80s. The main track is fast. The Tapita track is always fast, and the turf course is firm. First race, field of 11 on the turf. There are no changes in the opener. R Racing at Gulfstream. From between horses, it's Super Royal Moon who gets the first call. More than I can handle moving to challenge. Tapid Brio has position toward the rail. Up in the center goes Stormy Victory. The first race favorite is well situated. He's only three lengths behind. Trupia is next, followed out deep on the course by Chef Mentar. Racing between horses in Sir Samuel, down at the rail, Hollywood Hellraiser. Angled at the back is Good Soldier as they chase the speed of More Than I Can Handle. More Than I Can Handle and Jockey Angel Morales off the lead by two and a half. Super Royal Moon is second. The race favorite, Stormy Victory, now third. Talking on the outside is Trupia racing ahead of Warp Speed Baby. Two in front of the gray tap at Brio. Beachmont Charlie's in the two path. He's about seven lengths behind. Chef Mentar's in the blue behind him. The gray is Hollywood Hellraiser with from between Sir Samuel and out the back, Good Soldier. 48 seconds for the opening half mile as they race to the half mile point. The leader, more than I can handle, off the lead by four. Stormy Victory is second toward the outside, Trupia toward the rail, Super Royal Moon. Warp Speed Baby is next. From out of the crowd, it's Sir Samuel who begins to make some ground. He's angled to the clear by Jose Ortiz. Hollywood Hellraiser's on his back, then Good Soldier. Dropping back Beachmont Charlie and Chef Mentar as they try to reach more than I can handle. They run to the top of the stretch with more than I can handle the target. There's a wall of pursuers. On the far outside, Sir Samuel. Good Soldier wheels widest of all. Hollywood Hellraiser stuck in traffic. The favorite Stormy Victory needs to do better than that. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Here comes Warp Speed Baby. Baby, surging forward to take over the lead. From the outside, Sir Samuel. From between horses, Tappet Brio. Warp Speed Baby's an eight to one winner of race number one. Second, Sir Samuel. Third was Tappet Brio, then Hollywood Hellraiser in 142 and two. They're off and running. Good start inside for Rock Along, who heads off for the early lead. Noble Dreamer has speed. So does Juno C. In between horses, Vigil Anna's hunting some forward position in the run past the half-mile point. It's Noble Dreamer who comes away with a clear lead over Juno C. Second, another world inside third. Up to fourth goes Temerity, outside of her and Forever R's. Rock Along is next. Vigilana got shuffled back, then Turby, and the trailer Honey Bunny Boo Boo. Around the far turn at the 5 16th, Noble Dreamer nursing a neck advantage. Juno C, alongside the leader second, two back to Forever R's, who's outside of another world inside. Then Vigilana and Temerity. Turby's on the far outside. Noble Dreamer needs to do better than she's doing as Juno C is up alongside, and Juno C is taking the lead. Noble Dreamer fights back toward the inside down the center vigilana she's finishing up well down the center here's vigilana storming home under tyler gaffleone to take the lead temerity gets through at the rail to try to get into second vigilana is in front close then for second either noble dreamer or temerity juno c flattened out in 57 and one
All set. And they're off. In the center, Magical Power, one of the first into stride, but Jonas's Dream wants the lead. He's working way out in the center, but he is in front. Magical Power is second, wanting to get to the outside of the leader, and down inside goes Mr. McGregor. He's now third. A gap of three to Southern Dream, racing together with Neutral and Citizen Mac, and Arcangelo's out the back early, but he's on hand under Castellano. He's about seven lengths off the speed of Jonas's Dream. Jonas's Dream to the half-mile point leads by two. Mr. McGregor together with Magical Power second and third. Neutral is at the rail. He's being worked on early, and Arcangelo moves with him. Southern Dream is next, and Citizen Mac gets shuffled to last of the seven as they race to the half-mile point. The opening quarter was swift, 23 seconds flat. Jonas's Dream trying to take the starch out of him here. He heads into the far turn through a 45 and two half mile. Second, Mr. McGregor from the back. Here's Castellano on Arcangelo. The gray is splitting horses up into a joint second. Southern Dream is driven, driven, dropping back neutral. Never involved Citizen Mac as they run to the top of the stretch. The anchor is out on Jonas's Dream as Magical Power makes a bid for the lead. Mr. McGregor moves to him second, trying to work between them as Arcangelo third. Dropping back Jonas's dream, the rest not of consequence. They're at the top of the stretch. Magical power comes away with the lead toward the inside. Mr. McGregor down the center. Arcangelo, he's finishing up very nicely. And Javi's got a very confident look as Arcangelo has powered forward. Here's the son of Arrogate to the winner's circle. Here's Arcangelo clearing off. Magical power was second. Mr. McGregor holds third. Southern dream is fourth. That Jonas's dream on 34 and four. And they're off. The favorite Super Legacy was off in traffic. Good start for Sarah Watt, who's going to head off for the early lead from Glorious Tribute, who gets away in good shape. Up on the outside, here's Strong again. Super Legacy rushing through traffic, and that'll send no man left behind, widest of all. Saving ground is Thorn, ahead of Eyes of Champion, and free shipping is last. In the run around the first turn, it's Sarah Watt, who has the lead by almost a length from Longshot Strong again in second. On the far outside, it's No Man Left Behind and Three Wide Super Legacy. Holding down the rail is Thorn, a gap of two and a half to free shipping with Eyes of Champion alongside. The opening quarter complete in 24 and two. They have less than six furlongs to run. Sarah Watt, Jockey Javier Castellano with the advantage of a length and a quarter from Strong again in second. Super Legacy is third. No Man Left Behind is on the far outside in fourth. Glorious Tribute needs some place to go. He's patiently handled at this stage with Thorn toward the rail. Then it's back to free shipping and eyes of champion. 48 and one for the opening half mile, less than half a mile to the finish. And Sarah Watt has been allowed to control the pace throughout. He leads three wide in super legacy, four wide, no man left behind, two paths strong again. Behind them are Thorn and Glorious Tribute. Glorious Tribute still searching for some place to go. Irad looks like he'll follow the favorite. Then back to free shipping and Eyes of Champion is last as they run to the top of the stretch. Sarah Watt, the leader, Super Legacy is second. Racetrack for Glorious Tribute to play his hand. He's in the red blinkers, storming home on the far outside. Three quarters, 112 flat, three across the course. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Sarah Watt still the target. Super Legacy is second. Glorious Tribute down the center. Final eighth of a mile. It's now Super Super Legacy and Glorious Tribute who have reached Sarah Watt. Super Legacy is trying to hold off Glorious Tribute. Super Legacy. Super Legacy beat Glorious Tribute by a neck. Third was Sarah Watt and finishing fourth was free shipping. 143 flat. They're at the post. And they're off. Calabrian Queen quick off the blocks. Rugula has speed from the rail. Accomplished Girl is on the attack. Accomplished Girl to the top. Calabrian Queen away in second, and Golden Star is now third. Splitting horses now showing decidedly so down toward the inside. 
Decidedly so has now beat the spot, beat to the spot now showing who just slammed on the brakes. Up and by her went both Royal Blood and my Malibu Honey. Then it's Guns and Lilies and Estrella is last with Accomplished Girl, Fleet Footed. Accomplished Girl and Edgar Zayas push their chips all in with five sixteenths to go. They lead by three. Calabrian Queen tries to take up the slack second. Rugala set down driving now third. Royal Blood's on the far outside, then decidedly so. Up the rail and Golden Star and they're at the top of the stretch. Accomplished Girl has no signs of slowing. She's in front by seven. Second is Calabrian Queen. Rugala tries to fire forward with decidedly so, but this was a tour de force from Accomplished Girl. She wins with lengths to spare. Good battle here for second. Rugala's up for second. Third is Calabrian Queen, then decidedly so. Royal Blood, 54 and three. And they're off. What not away quickly, sent from the outside. Disco Queen splitting them, both True Blue Pearl and Holy Berries. They're four in line early. Caff Leone stays put at the rail with Strong Embrace to race third last, then Brody's Causeway. The early trailer is Cucaro's out three wide. True Blue Pearl is the second choice under Junior Alvarado. They set the tone. They lead by a length. Disco Queen is second. Holy Berries is now third. What not is fourth. Looking for some clear racetrack is Strong and Brace. She's down inside. Not much room to work with at this point with Kukuro on her outside. And sandwiched between them, Brody's Causeway. The quarter time was 24 and 4. Down the back stretch they go. And with the advantage, True Blue Pearl taken on with token pace pressure from Disco Queen in second. Holy Berries is third. Orange cap on the far outside. Whatnot stays parked at the rail. Working between them and Strong and Brace. Then back to Kukuro and Brody's Causeway. So it's a stacked and packed group through a 49 and two half mile. They move now to the far turn. True Blue Pearl still has the lead. Disco Queen is second. Holy Berries is three wide third. Strong Embrace in and amongst rivals while racing in fourth. Whatnot is now asked to quicken fifth. Kukuro's not responding to urging and the trailer is Brody's Causeway. They've reached True Blue Pearl as Disco Queen shoves a neck on top. Gaff Leone trying to get to the clear on Strong Embrace. Holy Berry's trying to deny her that opportunity. She's still got the favorite bottled up, but the favorite's going to wait and go around. Three quarters and 14 flat. They're off the turn. It's Holy Berry's in front. Fresh legs from Strong Embrace, who's under a full head of steam. Look at how light the handling is here. Tyler Gaff Leone in victory formation already, and Strong Embrace has moved away. Strong Embrace is even money and home first from Holy Berries in second, Kukuro third, then True Blue Pearl, 143 flat. And 
and they're off. Level beginning. Soon after the start, it was Richie who heads off for the early lead. Java Buzz hustles forward to challenge. Away into the top flight, that's a discreet tune. He's now up to third. Regimental Command is on the far outside, and Nick's Bros hunting some forward position toward the rail. Adios Gary into the top flight, then back to Loyal Louie ahead of Exchange Day and Big Daddy Dave. The trailer is Feel the Beat. Into the far turn they go. Richie at 9-1 to one as rail position and the lead. Java Buzz is their second. Three wide. Discreet Tune is now third. Two back to Adios. Gary Nick's bro. Red color starting to warm to the task. He's four and a half lengths off the speed of Richie. Off the turn and the stretch drive. It's Richie. He has the lead and he tries to get away. Java Buzz is back to third. Up to the outside. Adios Gary from between horses. Discreet Tune. Final eighth of a mile. It's Richie. And the colors of Crownsway racing two and a half in front. Nick's bro can't get him. Richie wins. Second was Nick's bro. Got close after that. The photos for third between Adios Gary and Loyal Louie. 55 flat. And they're off in the 69th running of the Hutchison. The big favorite, Super Chow, was last to start. First to break was two of a kind. Is ridden hard by Joel Rosario. He wants a clear lead, and he gets one. He's a length and a half in front of you better be joking away in second. Super Chow angles for racing room. This is not his game. He's off the speed today while racing in third. The trailer is live as life. The leader is two of a kind. Two of a kind to the opening quarter in an opening quarter of 22 flat. Has the lead three parts of a length. Super Chow three wide. You better be joking. Working in the between runners. The trailer is live as life as they round the far turn. Two of a kind working overtime. Three wide. Super Chow's on a roll now. In between horses. Saya's hard at work with you. Better be joking. Is trying to cling to the favorite. There's a quarter of a mile left to go in the Hutchison. And even after being off his tactical game, Super Chow has now taken a clear lead. 45 seconds for the opening half mile. Super Chow turns for home on top two and a half. From the outside line. Live is life. The barn buddy tries to get up into second. From between horses, it's you better be joking at the rail. That's two of a kind. But as they come home for the wire, a milestone victory for Lee Farms is they're going to run one two here as Super Chow wins the Hutchison with lengths to spare as a popular odds on favorite. Live is life. He completes the Delgado exact. The third was two of a kind. Then you better be joking. 109 and four. And they're off. Short of room and check back was this big favorite, Clever Thought. Doesn't seem too bothered by it, though, as reaching out for the early lead is Missionaire up on his outside. Here's Camillo on the go, and Be Well is out with three wide on the course. The gray spins are down toward the inside ahead of Rockstar Red, then back to Just for Luck with Clever Thought toward the rail. Three wide is Greystone. The early trailer is Union Tap. In the run to the first turn, Missionaire has the lead for Joel Rosario, working two and a half lengths on top. Camillo is there second. From the outside, Be Well now races into third from Spinzar, who's at the rail fourth. Followed fifth by Rockstar Red. Clever Thought six toward the rail. Out seventh is Greystone. Just for luck is eighth. And ninth and last, the early trailer here, is Union Tap. 23 and one for the opening quarter speed. Less than six furlongs to run. Missionaire carving out the fractions. Leads by two. Camillo is second. Spinzar third. Be Well fourth. And it's a trio with the race favorite Clever Thought toward the rail. Rockstar Red between horses and Greystones on the outside. Still toward the back of the field is Just for Luck. And Union Tap is last of all. They went 48-2 for the opening half mile. 
They go half a mile from the finish, and with the advantage, it's Mission Air on top three parts of a length. Here's Castellano and Camillo turning up the heat now second, three wide. B Well is now third, spins are there fourth, Rockstar Red working hard while racing into fifth. On his back is Clever Thought. He's got traffic problems at the moment and better than seven lengths to overcome. Then back to Greystone as they run to the top of the stretch. Three quarters, one twelve and two. Loose for the drive is Clever Thought. He's on the far outside as they converge on Mission Air. Mission Air turns for home on top. Camillo second, Be Well third. Clever Thought trying to straighten up and finish up. Final eighth of a mile, Mission Air still the target. Clever Thought charging hard but running out of time. Clever Thought tries to reach Mission Air. Mission Air, Clever Thought. Here's the wire, Clever Thought. That's why I call him and don't ride him as Irad Ortiz Jr. measured it perfectly. Clever thoughts in time over Mission Air in 148 and 2. Bounced around at the break with Shakiran and Moped Dennis. Asus Rios on the accelerator early with Royal Kitten, who has a tendency to work out toward the center, and he's in front now while trying to straighten up. From the outside at Sir Khan, down at the inside, here's AstroTurf moving closer, splitting horses, Moped Dennis. Dunnigan's behind the speed in the red colors, a length better than Pippa Delinda, then Shakiran and saving ground the twin sneakers. Not much pace on. Royal Kitten controls the action through a 23 and 4 opening quarter. Leads by a length over Sir Khan second. AstroTurf is third at the inside. In the green, that's Moped Dennis. He's racing between horses with Dunnigan for company. Far outside, it's Power improving at the inside. The twin sneakers. And the two at the back, Shakiran and Pippa Delinda. Half a mile from the finish. It's been smooth sailing so far for Royal Kitten, who went 46 and 4 for a half mile and leads by a length. Sir Khan is their second. Gaffleone and AstroTurf third, but they're losing a touch of ground. From between horses and Moped Dennis out three wide. That's Dunnigan. Two back to power. Then the twin sneakers. He's hard ridden and not responding. Shakiran and Pippa Delinder are next as they run to the top of the stretch. Still plenty of chances here with Royal Kitten trying to string them out. Quarter of a mile left to go. Royal Kitten has the lead. Sir Khan is their second. Moped Dennis launching a protracted duel on the far outside up the rail in AstroTurf. Late run from Shakir and he gets through at the wood. Eighth of a mile to go. Royal Kitten trying to put the finishing touches on a gate to wire effort. And I think he's done just that. It's Royal Kitten and Jockey Jesus Rios who will go down the road to kick off the late pick three. Good battle here for second. In fact, it was the long shot getting second. Sir Khan ahead of Moped Dennis third. The twin sneakers fourth in 137 and four. And the Silks run. Check back to last with Sigiloso. Caratari away quickly, speeding through between horses. Yes, I am free. On the far outside, Panther Island into the top flight is full disclosure. Joel Rosario has this big favorite, Big Invasion, positioned perfectly early. He's behind a lively early pace. Saving ground is Novograd the Great, then out deep on the course, Omaha City, ahead of Belgrano. And after a slow start, the trailer is Sigiloso. 
Round the four turn they go. Yes, I am free. Clear a length and a quarter. Full disclosure is second. Clear racetrack for Big Invasion. He's going to have to give up some ground, but he has no uh, no alternative at this stage. Running home three wide, Panther Island. Caratari's at the rail, and they're at the top of the stretch. It's still yes. I am free. He's an eighth of a mile from home and two and a half on top. Big Invasion now starts to go get him from between horses in Caratari. Yes, I am free. Needs the wire. Big Invasion's gobbling up ground, and Big Invasion is back and wins going away. Second, yes, I am free. Third was Karatari. Fourth was full disclosure. Big invasion and the Silks Run. And runners away. Outside, Omo 10 girl gets the first call. Splitting horses, Sponger out for a run, looking for some place to race. She'll angle to the clear. At the rail, that's always connected. Out wide on the course, but moving up is Velocissima. Love Unlimited's not far away. The one way at the back is Heart of a Beast. They go to the half mile point. Omo 10 girl has the lead, leads by length. Clear racetrack for out for a run is now second toward the outside. Beer Valley is now third. Far outside, Stepstones is there fourth, moving between, always connected. Down at the rail, that's Sponger who drops back a length and a half better than Velocissima. Then heading west in Love Unlimited, still well back is Heart of the Beast. They run to the top of the stretch with Omo 10 girl still the target up on the outside out for a run with no excuse from there into the clear comes always connected so the favorites are second and third behind Omo 10 girl who's still going eighth of a mile to go Omo 10 girl she widens on him now she leads three and a half out for a run is dropping back toward the outside Velocissima but at five to one it's Omo 10 girl in front Omo 10 girl by four in the end always connected second Velocissima third out for a run, faded to fourth. And that wraps up a fantastic Saturday card. We're back here again on Sunday with 10 races. Of course, our first race post each and every day, 12.40 p.m. Boy, you got to be at Gulfstream Park. Good night and good luck. <laughs>